Hey everyone, it's Paul Hamilton here from UTV. We're gonna have a look through at what Keynote looks like on a Vision Pro. Managed to get myself one for the weekend and um, apologize for the environment, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my finger here to do my clicks, just so you can see kind of what I'm actually clicking on. So what I've got here is that ability to kind of drag my window in to resize it and do some really cool things. But what I'm gonna do is open up a Keynote that I use on my iPad, one of the files that I've created. And it has embedded USDZ files. So I'm just in edit mode here, um, which is remarkable. And what I'm gonna do is I'll just close that down or give that a bit of a tap. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the surfboard. Now I'm just in edit mode and I'm gonna to go to the viewer and have a look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. I know I don't get this effect um, basically on this video, but in a fully immersive space, just this ability to bring out a USDZ file. This is a Procreate 3D model that I've designed an indigenous um, design on. And I've got some different examples here. So if I go down, um, I'm using my, obviously my pinch here, just to kind of navigate. I'm gonna pinch on my Minecraft model here. Um, and if I view that and view the model there, just once again, in edit mode, it brings it up beautifully into my viewer as this beautiful 3D model. And it is gorgeous to look at. I can resize that and almost do a bit of a walk through my Minecraft world. I can go further and further and further. But what you notice about this is when I view these models in augmented reality on my iPad, um, the intricate detail is not picked up as much. So in this kind of spatial environment that I'm in, this is a bit of a scan from Scanniverse, a USDZ file that I've got embedded in my, um, look at that. Um, it's not a great, obviously it's not a great um, 3D model, it's got some gaps in it there, um, but it gives you an idea of how we might be able to, in an educational context, bring in these beautiful 3D models here. Um, this is another good example. So this is a room plan scan from Polycam and you're able to kind of view, make bigger these beautiful files that I've captured um, my parents' home there, just kind of with a, a few little bits of furniture in there. Um, and we could think about how we can get that interactive and really play around with different applications for that as well. So I just thought I'd show you this. This is once again, Keynote on Vision Pro, opened up, it's got embedded USDZ files in it from maybe Reality Composer or Scans. Here's, here's another great example, educational context. I'm gonna open up the Mars Rover, Perseverance Rover here. Um, and what you notice about this one is the intricate details. I'm, I'm not kidding. Because it's made by Massa, this 3D, I never realized the detail in regard to these different elements on this 3D model. Um, incredibly intricate. Um, incredibly, you can see here, I can also kind of pull apart different aspects. Um, not sure if I'm getting the full effect on this video here because it's a screen recording within Vision Pro, um, but I just kind of wanted to show you that you don't have to necessarily get into the whole coding aspect to really view what the students and teachers are creating content wise on their Mac or on their iPad. It just goes next level on Vision Pro um, and it has that ability for me to kind of look at it. Now I'm pressing on here, fully immersive. So I'm gonna look at this from a theater view and take a look at this. I'm not sure how, I had to be really careful here of where I was standing. But if I tap on the theater mode within Keynote, it basically says, Paul, be really careful with your environment, which I kind of like that. And then it just gets rid of my living room and brings in this amazing immersive lecture theater. And so I'm speaking and I could be presenting, but behind me, I've got those um, keynote in the full scale. And this is incredibly mind blowing when you start to uh, dilute the actual space that you're in and then you get completely in virtual mode where everything else is canceled out. Um, I probably will go into this in a little bit more depth and how you can bring personas in and different things here. Um, but this is incredibly uh, mind blowing in regard to going to theater mode. You can see here, love the transitions back to my own space, which is great. Um, but love that ability to go to different modes going forward. Hope you found that uh, enlightening. Uh, just viewing Keynote in Vision Pro, what it looks like. Don't forget, we do training. Um, we jump into schools and we help kind of set up and experience what, what the magic of Vision Pro with what your students already have. Paul Hamilton here for using technology better.